We're in a hotel room right now, guys, and I wanted to show you a couple things about the HVAC system. One is good, which is that is a giant return grill. Uh, this is a tiny little hotel room, as you can see here. And so the size of the uh, HVAC system that is in there has got to be pretty small. And that being that big is awesome. That's great. Now, this room does need heating and cooling because we've got windows, we've got walls that go outside. If I was on the top floor, I might have a ceiling that's exposed to outside. But um, the bathroom here is what I wanted to show you next. That right there is a red flag. Anytime you come into a room that has no exposure to outside, this is the outside wall. So there's no exposure here. No exposure here, no exposure on the backside. There's another hotel room over there. Uh, I am in the middle floor, so there's nothing on top of us that's outside-ish. I'm, uh, again, above another unit. So there's just literally no exposure in this room. The whole purpose of a vent like that is to make up for heat bleed that's happening through the skin. So if you step in and you see that, that's uh, it's wrong. There's no way that anybody it would put that in there on purpose. So make sure that you understand that just because mechanical engineers are involved in engineering the system and you know drawing and all the drawings look very nice and detailed, doesn't mean that it's right. Use your, what you know about why HVAC exists and why heating and cooling would need to be delivered in a drawer room. Now the downside of this, this bathroom, having that thing in there is that it's gonna be cooler it's going to be overcooled in the summertime. It's going to be overheated in the wintertime. And maybe that's good. Maybe you like it to be nice and toasty in the wintertime. That's very cool. But being overcooled in the summertime, that just doesn't make a lot of sense. So please do make sure to look around, notice where the vents are and how big they are and things like that as you, uh, you know, go throughout your life, in your home, in your hotel rooms. Um, we, we can all get smarter about this stuff. And then we can help to pressure the mechanical engineers to do things a little bit differently. Uh, please do comment below or ask questions uh, as you have them. I think this is a pretty clear video. Like, subscribe, tune in next time.